Governor Belo Matale directs banks to use sanitizers at ATMs. Members of the Zamfara State Tax Force on Prevention and Control of Coronavirus urge to be alive to their responsibility. Allow tanker drivers operate during lockdown and NPC tell security agencies. On business, TCN and NMPC to partner to boost gas availability. And on the international scene, China and United Bank of Africa have made donations to the Niger State COVID-19 Appeal Fund. Hello viewers, welcome to SVTV News. I am Musa Joy Unyoza. Just as people began to troop to ATM machines following the payment of March salaries, in some quarters, Governor Pelo Matawale Maradun has handed down an express directive to all banks in the state to provide hand sanitizers to customers at their ATM premises. Governor Matawale, who personally went around ATM machines at the premises of many banks in the state capital, Guso Zamfara State, warned managers against defaulting in this directive. The governor warned that any bank found to be defaulting in this simple instruction will have its operation closed down. Governor Matawale noted that when he visited some of the banks, customers were seen lined up waiting for their turn to use the ATM machines. Similarly, he visited the busy BBG mobile phones plaza where he called on the people to observe the basic principles of protection against the pandemic of COVID-19, including social distancing. Governor Matawale promised to ensure that his administration does everything possible to protect the citizens from contacting the dreaded virus. So far, no single case of the pandemic or its suspect was reported in Zamfara State. The Chairman State Tax Force Committee on Combating Dreaded Coronavirus and Speaker State House of Representatives Honorable Alahaji Nasru Mazuma Agaria has charged members of the State Committee for the Prevention and Control of COVID-19 to be up and doing in the discharge of their duties. The chairman gave the charge when he inaugurated seven subcommittee for the smooth and successful conduct of the committee's assignment. Speaker Margaria further told the subcommittee's chairman and members that the success or otherwise of the committee rested squarely on their shoulders and urged them to live up to expectation. He described the committee's assignment as daunting considering the nature of the disease and its negative consequences on human health, but assured that the tax is surely surmountable. The Tax Force Committee Chairman reminded the members that government carefully selected them to serve in this committee going by their track records in the past and called on them to put their expertise to bear in the discharge of the committee's assignment. Committees inaugurated by the Speaker are that of Isolation Centre, headed by Alahaji Yahya Mohamed Kanoma, State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Ibrahim Halilu, Director of Public Health of the State Ministry for Health, will serve as Secretary, while Publicity Community Mobilization and Sensitization is held by Alahaji Suleiman Tinao Anka, State Commissioner of Information, Culture and Tourism, while Mustafa Jafar Kaura, Public Relations Officer of the State House of Assembly, is the Secretary of the Committee. Other subcommittees inaugurated by the Chairman Tax Force include that of security to be chaired by Deputy Commissioner of Police Lawal M. Lawal with Ibrahim Aji, Special Advisor Political Matters as Secretary Logistics headed by Alahaji Zaradin M. Sadar as Chairman while the Commissioner Special Duties Alahaji Sadiq Meiturare Bungudu will serve as Secretary. Resource Mobilization and Stakeholders Response Committee is headed by the Speaker himself, with Yusuf Lawal as Secretary as well as Commodities Custody Committee to be chaired by Permanent Secretary Government House Alahaji Hamisu Shayao Zarumai with Alahaji Shehu Seidu Anka Clark to the State House of Assembly as Secretary of the Committee. 
The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NMPC, has appealed to law enforcement agencies across the country to allow free movement of, petro of petroleum products by tanker drivers during the lockdown ordered by President Mohamedou Buhari in Lagos, Ogun, at the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. The group in a statement said the exemption granted by the president to certain categories of essential workers covers the operations of petroleum product tanker drivers. The federal government counts on the support of the law enforcement agencies across the country to ensure smooth distribution of petroleum products across the nuke and cranny of the country during the period of the restriction. Group General Manager Public Affairs Division Mr. Kenny Opatero also advised motorists not to engage in panic buying, noting that NMPC holds over 2.6 billion liters of petrol enough to last through the period of the lockdown and beyond. In Sokoto State, 11 indigents of the state who returned to the state from other parts of the country have been placed under compulsory isolation for two weeks. The State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Mohamed Ali Nami, who gave the indication during a news briefing in Sokoto State, said, however, two of the returnees have completed their two-week stay in isolation and therefore allowed to reintegrate into the society. The Commissioner also announced that his ministry was collaborating with traditional and religious leaders to ensure that all state indigents returning to the state observe the two weeks isolation. On a suspected case of the COVID-19 infection in Goronyo local government area, Dr. Mohamed Ali Nami said the result of the test conducted on the suspect revealed that it was not COVID-19, but rather a different ailment. He solicited support and cooperation of residents to effort being made by the state government to prevent the spread of COVID-19 pandemic to the state. Kaduna state government have temporarily relaxed the restriction of movement imposed throughout to check the spread of COVID-19. In a statement broadcast, the Deputy Governor Dr. Hadiza Balarebe said that the curfew will be eased from 3 p.m. on Wednesday to 12 midnight on Thursday. Dr. Balarebe said that the measure is to enable people to stock up on food and other essential commodities. According to her, subsequently, the restriction of movement will be lifted every Tuesday and Wednesday, and traders in food and other essentials will open their shops on these two days. The deputy governor, who apologized for the inconvenience that the restriction of movement has caused, said that the decision was taken because of the extraordinary times which was brought about by COVID-19. The deputy governor appealed to the people of the state to still observe social distancing, avoid crowded places, and to wash their hands regularly. Ikeja Electricity has announced the suspension of all disconnection activities of non-paying customers for a period of two weeks, effective April 1st, 2020, due to the lockdown of Lagos State caused by COVID-19. Mrs. Falake Swaitan, Acting Chief Executive Officer, made the announcement in a statement in Ikeja on Wednesday. President Mohamed Buhari had on Sunday in a nationwide broadcast announced that 14 days lockdown of Lagos State, Ogun and the Federal Capital Territory from 11 p.m. on March 30th as part of effort to contain the spread of coronavirus. Mrs. Soetan said the suspension of the disconnection activities was to ensure that customers who could not afford to pay their March bills due to the closure would continue to enjoy supply until the stay-at-home order was lifted. According to her, customers who wish to pay their bills can also do so using any of the discourse designated online payment platforms. She said prepaid customers can buy energy online using any of our preferred online banking or merchant platforms or the website to purchase vending units. In line with treating the customers first using technology now policy, the customer service representatives will be available to respond to all complaints and inquiries in a prompt and professional manner. She said they will leverage on their world-class communication tools online and via social media to attend to customer complaints and inquiries while also increasing the turnaround time for resolution. All employees on essential services throughout this lockdown period are committed to ensuring that you get the best customer service. 
and have been mandated to deliver in line with our processes and best practices. Nigeria has recorded 12 new cases of COVID-19 infections as the total cases have risen to 151. The Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, disclosed the new figures in a tweet in its latest update on the disease. The agency, while giving the breakdown of the cases, reported nine in Oshun State, two in Edo State, and one in Ekiti State. As at half past 12 p.m. 1st April 2020, there are 151 confirmed cases of COVID-19 reported in Nigeria. Nine have been discharged with two deaths. Currently, Lagos has 82 cases, Federal Capital Territory with 28 cases, Oshun with 14 cases, Oyo State with 8 cases, Ogun with 4 cases, Edo State with 4 cases, Kaduna with 3 cases, Enugu with 2 cases, Bauchi with 2 cases, Ekiti with 2 cases, Rivers with 1 case, and Benue with 1 case. This comes a few days after President Muhammadu Buhari ordered the restriction of movement in Lagos, Abuja, and Ogun State. President Buhari had made the declaration as part of measures to curtail the spread of the virus in Nigeria. Following the lockdown order, the president signed the COVID-19 regulations 2020, which declared COVID-19 a dangerous infectious disease. The COVID-19 Regulations 2020 is in line with the exercising of powers conferred on President Muhammad Buhari by Section 2, 3, and 4 of the Quarantine Act and all other power enabling him in that on behalf. The federal government has commenced the disbursement of 20,000 Naira conditional cash transfer to indigent households at the Kwali Area Council of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. This is part of the federal government effort to help reduce the effect of President Muhammad Buhari's lockdown order following the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic in the country. The Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Haji Asadia Omar Farouk, stated this while kick-starting the disbursement. The minister said that due to the scourge of COVID-19, the federal government is giving out 20,000 Naira per person for the next four months starting from March 2020. She explained that the president during his broadcast last week directed that a conditional cash transfer should be given in advance of two months. The minister said the federal government had directed the immediate cash transfer to the poorest and most vulnerable households in the country. All right, we are still going to short commercial break and when we come back, Standard Voice Television News continues. Coronavirus or COVID-19 the most recent outbreak that has turned to be a global pandemic. Watch how it easily and quickly spreads among humans. you can save your life and save the lives of many others by keeping yourself and your environment clean. As part of your civic responsibilities, you should help the government to maintain a clean environment in its determined effort to prevent any outbreak of coronavirus COVID-19 in the states for your own safety. You should ensure regular washing of your hands with soap on the running water or use sanitizer. Avoid body contact and avoid big gathering of people. In case you notice any symptoms of coronavirus, like difficulties in breathing, high body temperature, running nose, feverish condition, you should immediately contact any member on the contact committee on the outbreak of coronavirus COVID-19 on the following numbers 081 65 40 86 96 081 05 00 988 or 080-6303-5385. A stitch in time, they say, says life. This message is from Standard Voice Television, SVTV, 
Seoul, Zamfara State, Nigeria. Welcome back on Business. Aguirita has more detail. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Standard Voice Business Update. In a bid to ensure availability of gas, which will lead to the increase in power supply, the transmission company of Nigeria TCN has announced that it will be collaborating with the Nigeria Petroleum Corporation, NMPC. This announcement came from the General Manager of Public Affairs of TCN, Ms. Ndudumba, in a statement released on Twitter. According to the statement, the company had received support from the NMPC in terms of resolving the challenges relating to gas availability to thermal power plants. The public affairs manager said the transmission company was already working with the group managing director of NMPC, Mr. Mele Kari, and chief operating officer gas and power. Mr. Bass said that through the NMPC support, gas supply to gas generation station nationwide had improved significantly. In fact, she added that most power plants that experience gas supply shortage in the past are currently generating power to the grid. She said if the trade continues, the problem of gas supply to power plants will be resolved in a matter of hours, adding that distribution companies as well as point load consumers of electricity will be adequately served. The TCM Brothers appreciated the staff of the company management of NMPC, generation companies and the discos for their efforts in sustaining the grid during this trying period. And that is all on Standard Voice Business Update. Until I come your way again, I'm a Guaya Rita. And on the international scene. The United Bank of Africa has donated 28.5 million naira to the Niger State COVID-19 Appeal Intervention Fund. Just as the government of the Republic of China donated items worth 6 million naira to help combat the spread of coronavirus in the state, the secretary to the Niger State government, Ahmed Matane, who is also the head of COVID-19 Task Force in the state, disclosed this while briefing journalists in MENA. Alahaji Martinez said the government of the People's Republic of China donated items to help curb the spread of coronavirus in the state worth 6 million naira. The items include examination hand gloves, sodium hypochlorite, infant thermometer, among others. The SSG further stated that the state government has approved 400 million naira to provide palliatives that will help to cushion hardship on the people due to the lockdown. He further said that the money would also be expended on other measures to be taken by the government to prevent the spread of the virus. He explained that 300 million naira of the amount will be used for palliatives for the people suffering from the lockdown of the state, especially the vulnerable members of the society. Government has already released 74 million naira to the State Ministry of Health and Hospital Services for the procurement of medical facilities necessary in handling COVID-19 cases, while 12 isolation centers have also been created across the eight Emirate councils of the state. The SSG then said that the state government has procured two additional ventilators to beef off the total number in the state to 11 and other items including sanitizers, face masks, examination hand gloves, oxygen concentrators and oxygen delivery system. That has been the news from Standard Voice Television. To end the news, a quick look at the major headlines. Governor Belo Matawale directs banks to use sanitizers at ATMs. Members of the Zamfara State Tax Force on Prevention and Control of Coronavirus urge to be alive to their responsibility. Allow tanker drivers operate during lockdown, NMPC tell security agencies from business, TCN and NMPC to partner to boost gas availability. And on the international scene, China and United Bank of Africa have made donations to the Niger State COVID-19 Appeal Fund. That's the news on behalf of the production crew and head of news and correct affairs department, Alahaji Ibrahim Garubatunau. I still remain Musa Joy Onyoda. Stay tuned.